Hey guys, thanks for clicking on the video. You clicked on this because you want to know more about the difference between TPO roofing and EPDM. So in this video, we're going to talk about that mainly. I'm here with a good friend of mine, Sean Smith, one of the co-owners of SkyGuard. Sean and his team right now are actually installing a new TPO system up on a roofing project here in Denver, Colorado. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So if you're a subscriber to the channel, thanks a lot for coming back to watch another video. It's really bright out here today, so I had to wear my special yellow sunglasses. Well, my name is Zach Blankensop. I'm the owner of Digital Roofing Innovations. I'm a US military veteran and licensed general contractor and roofing contractor in over nine states. We've done projects from Billy up the street all the way through the United States government. So I promise you came to the right place to get your information. All right, let's get started with the video. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so just like I told you when we started the video, SkyGuard's actually taking up a PVC system and EPDM and going back over with a TPO uh, single ply membrane system. So Sean, uh, obviously I've done some commercial roofing. I'm not an expert on flat roofing. You guys are obviously a little bit further advanced on, which is part of the reason why I came to this job site. So Sean, why did you guys decide to go back with TPO versus maybe an EPDM system since we're doing a comparison video of EPDM versus TPO. But why on this project did you guys decide to go TPO? Um, so when we go through HAG training for materials, yep. they're all great products. PVC is great, EPDM is great, TPO is great. They all have their benefits. Uh, for us specifically, PVC tends to have plasticizer in it. Yep. So with the hot, the cold, it can tend to cause it to crack. Right. Um, expanding, contracting, expanding, contracting. Especially around the, uh, the parapet walls. The right? parapet walls, it can cause it to come off or just literally it can crack like glass. Right. Um, they're, they're making them better now. A lot of them are not having plasticizers, but they still have them. Um, we were gonna choose EPDM, but it tends to hold more moisture. Yep. Um, and with it, I know it's a dry area, but when we do get moisture, we don't want that ruining the roof. Uh, for our area, we found that TPO is usually your best middle grade. Um, I mean, they each do something different, better sure. for different areas, but for our area, we found TPO works best for us. Yeah, that makes sense. And I know that one of the big things too is the reflectivity of, of TPO yes. versus EPDM, uh, especially you know, the black EPDM where it's gonna absorb all the uh, sun. Cause I mean, you get a lot of sun here in, here in Denver. Specifically for Denver, yep. um, because of the size of this roof, the green building ordinance, had we went on with EPDM, we would have had to order special white EPDM or it wouldn't have met the reflectivity and we oh, wouldn't gotcha. have got approved for the permit. So so not only did you guys probably have to in install TPO just because you felt like it was the right system, also building code probably was gonna dictate exactly what system you had to put on. The, based on color. Even uh, yeah. if you can see the metal back there, it was turned down because the reflectivity. So we had to submit some uh, extra documents to meet that requirement. So it's, it's very interesting for a lot of you contractors out there, when you go to you know bid a job or you go to put a proposal together for a job, is also to make sure you're checking with your building code uh, requirements and the local building department and make sure that you're not recommending a system that's not gonna get authorized. So if you go and you put a proposal together and you get accepted and then all of a sudden you can't put on that same system, right. that could jeopardize you know, the, op you know, the opportunity to be actually landing yeah. that contract or not. Or you, uh, say, you say you're gonna use EPDM and you're thinking the black one and yep. then it gets denied like he's saying and you have to go and order the white one which costs a little extra, right. you're not out of pocket. Oh uh, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Well, so in your, in your experience, what do you feel like is a superior system. I know each one has their own applications, mm -hmm. but if you're comparing just EPDM to TPO where both systems can be installed, which one do you primarily like to use? I primarily like to use TPO um, based on cost to efficiency. Basically, PVC is a slightly more expensive, but it does have the plasticizer, but it does have a higher flame fl uh, fire rate okay. um, than TPO or EPDM and EPDM they usually tell you not to put it on uh, any type of restaurants because of all the heat coming from the kitchen. Oh, that makes sense, yeah. Cause moisture under there. So typically you're like, if you don't really know your best go-to is probably TPO. Okay. For us anyway. 
Well, Sean, that's all great information. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, guys, thanks a lot for watching the video. I hope this is really helpful. So, Sean, uh, just like you've seen my other videos with Chase from Skyguard, they're the co-owners of the company. They're a general contracting company out of Denver, Colorado. If you're a roofing contractor and you want to work with Skyguard, please look them up at skyguard.com with two Y's. I'm going to have their uh, link in the description. So if you're interested in working with them, make sure you just get a hold of them and maybe send over your information if you want to maybe subcontract sometime. But we actually, actually served in the Navy with both Sean and Chase. They're great guys and it's really cool now that we're both, well, we're all owners of uh, companies in the same industry. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video and you got a lot out of what Sean had to tell us, please like the video, it really helps us out a lot. If you wanna see more content from Digital Roofing Innovations, please give us a subscribe and please check out our website at digitalroofingcompany.com for more information on roofing and exterior restoration. As always, Digital Roofing Innovations, we believe in using a modern approach with traditional values. Have a great day.